I need to have my eggs circular. It makes a difference, they taste better. Okay, okay, don't judge me. All right, finally, we have lift off. All right, let's give it a go. So, this should keep all of us occupied for five minutes. This guy has figured out the guaranteed way of winning, which is just placing it in the mouth rather than having to pull it forward. Good strategy, very good strategy. Something dropped on my head. Turns out it was bird poop. I've just tried to get it out, but it's it's lost in the bush somewhere, guys. <laughs> And welcome to the holiday vlogs part two and I thought I would begin the vlog with what else I brought with me on vacation there are some essentials which I cannot travel without that it must come with me and I thought you might be curious to know what that is so I have the pantry located behind me and uh, assortment of things as well so I brought with me two smoothie containers this is my recent find from typo uh, which is now my new favorite because I think it's about 700 mil capacity and it says say la well you can read the rest for yourself <laughs> and sometimes you'll feel like that don't we uh, but 700 mil capacity and I make very large morning smoothies so this is my new fave uh, double walled comes with the middle straw then I've got my Starbucks which is always a favorite and of course a shaker bottle for protein shakes after a workout Another thing I always cannot travel without, and let me just unplug this, is my Magimix blender. Um, and the top part of it is just on the drying rack there. You've seen this in my videos many a time. I cannot live without my blender. And I used to use a Nutribullet, but they broke several times. This Magimix has the extra power that I need to really grind up what I need, because I like extra thick smoothies. Another thing. Not, we live without the Robert Tins coffee bags, a really quick, easy way to get a nice, strong Italian, or in this case, Colombian, my new flavor, uh, coffee, and some grain-free crackers. And I just have this lying around the house, so I thought I'd bring it with me just to save a bit of coin while we're out there, and also just to tie us over for a few days until we get to the shops. Another thing, egg rings. These are my new obsession. I need to have my eggs circular. Don't ask me why, I just, it's a mental thing, yeah. I need to have my eggs circular. It makes a difference, they taste better. Okay? Okay, don't judge me. Now, let's get to the pantry. Mom. Yes. Okay, essential. A straw brush for cleaning my metal straws and rubber spatula for getting that extra smoothie out of the blender. Now, pantry. I had to bring with me my Minor Figures Coffee Plus Oat Milk. Um, I used to make my iced lattes with coconut water. I will take you through that in another video, but yeah. Mm -mm. Love this stuff if you want a really quick iced latte. And then I brought with me, of course, my other obsession, which is this Slendia Fettuccine. So I tend to go generally carb-free where I can, and this is a really great alternative. This is the black bean Fettuccine. You can find it at Coles. Um, it's low calorie, but also really okay, tastes good and has a really nice gummy texture like can spaghetti you, wood. Can, yes. Can you put on mumble books for TV? Okay, just give me one minute. Oh, one on? minute. We have Netflix here, which we don't have at home, so this is a new arena for me. Anyway, <laughs> we also have 
collagen powder and my protein powder which I brought from home absolute essential I put this in basically everything I have it every day both of them so I grabbed a new pair of those before I left something else of course my collection of nut butters so I have with me the Panna cashew caramel which is just mm -mm -mm, super sweet but I need to have it in my life it's the one sweet thing I allow myself. Um, Mavis Super Spread, which has four different seeds, including sesame, another favorite thing of mine. And... Mama, I just turned on the TV. Oh, thank you very much. And my absolute favorite, Noya Macadamia Butter. So sweet. So... Oh, macadamia and cashew butter, actually. So delectable and just sweet on its own. It's the only ingredients in here, and yet it tastes absolutely wonderful. Then... Cinnamon. Now this isn't any ordinary cinnamon. This is a Ceylon. I think it's from Ceylon. It's a health cinnamon. And guys, please invest in the cinnamon. Go online, find an organic cinnamon. It's so much better from the ones in the shaker bottle out of the supermarket. It will change your life, let me tell you. Okay, uh, then we have sugar-free maple syrup for the waffles. I'm still looking for the blueberry ones. So if anyone knows where I can pick up the queen maple flavored syrup, but the blueberry version, sugar-free, let me know because I've just run out and I think I might die. Okay, vitamins, of course, vitagamies because I don't do tablets and vitamin D, but I think I'm getting plenty of that over here, which is fantastic. Then peanut butter, a little bit of granola, homemade, of course. In a container, we have chia seeds and um, the organic apple cider vinegar from Aldi. I highly recommend this one. Don't be paying $15 for one at a health food shop. Just get the Aldi one. does just as well. It comes with the mother inside as well. And, of course, we need vanilla because that pretty much goes in everything that I make. And I think... That is all. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, yes. Alright. I'm going to play some games with the kitties. I'll be right back with you with some more shenanigans. Hopefully, on this vlog, I will get to be doing my nails and we'll be watching some Bluey. Okay. No, no, not Bluey. Um, number blocks. blocks. Alright, number blocks. Let me just try to figure out the Netflix now after I tackle this hungry hippo situation. <laughs> Oh, and I forgot one more pantry item, which was the uh, cacao powder, another thing I cannot be far away from. And this has just made me realize that I don't think I could be within five kilometers from the nearest health food shop because I rely on that stuff or the specialty food so much. Uh, like, seriously, I need to live within the vicinity of a health food shop just to pick up what I need on the go. Now, I forgot the fridge item. So, flaxseed oil by Malrose. A staple I put this in basically everything really good for you omega 3s omega 6s fantastic good for hair skin and nails and uh, just overall general health uh, my new discovery which is this vegan cultured butter by BC and it's fermented so it's got a nice little sour edge to it mm. Koyo vanilla bean yogurt or even the natural I've got a little snack attack happening behind me <laughs> That's from the fridge and, oh, of course, frozen berries. This I picked up from here, but I cannot travel without this. And what else can I not live without food-wise? Strawberries. We do have some strawberries. We picked those up from the shops. But apart from that, and I think, oh, hold on. And jelly. And jelly. My, another obsession, Coco Sol, Coco Sol Coconut Milk. Um, super, super yummy and lush and Wheat. Oh, and it's less calories than the canned coconut milk. So I just add this to smoothies or on top of my porridge. It is the perfect topper for any kind of sort of warming porridge or smoothie situation. Absolutely fantastic. And also recommend the coconut water by this brand as well. The genuine real deal. Then we have Chobani Fit, another snack that I just like to have when I'm hungry. Whipped cream, because why not? Whenever we you know, whenever you do, I've frozen some cauliflower while I was here. Bring your stasher bags, they've been absolutely invaluable as well for just storing food and putting them in the freezer and being reusable, of course. And 
lastly, my favorite, no comparison, no comparison, Barista Oat Milk by So Good, only Safeway stocks this. We stock up, we grab a box every time we go. So this is the oat milk to have, not only for the thickness, the quality, but the taste is nutty and fabulous. The only other one I would ever consider is the Minor Figures Oat Milk Barista. Um, and there's a light version of this as well, but that's the only other version, if I'm in an emergency, that I would consider putting with my coffee. And that is it now, guys. All right, yeah. hungry here for time. Also, fun fact, we were playing a little, I don't know, guess who thing yesterday. Mom well, had heard on the radio, apparently, from a health expert, the four foods that you cannot live without, or the four foods that you should survive on, they're the top foods, apparently. And it was really weird. So apparently the four top foods that you can live your life upon, if nothing else, were pumpkin, tomatoes, oats, and mushrooms of all things. Can you believe it, guys? Four of those four things you can live upon for the rest of your life. The four things which I think I actually don't eat on the daily. So there you are. I'm screwed up, I'm on a desert island with my coconut water and uh, avocados, <laughs> is what I live upon apparently. Oh, and my prana protein powder, of course. Add that into the mix. Mm. Oh, that's a ball as well. All right, let's put the last hungry hippo in, okay? Can I put it in? Yeah, sure. Put it in. Rubbish, okay. Then, yeah, that's okay. Then we've got to attach the lanes. So attach that one. This one. to get five balls each. Okay, right, so the aim of the game is you have to get all five of them in the hippo's mouth. Ready? So we just hold down and flip. Oh, <laughs> too fun. I think you try to put them in the mouth. See, what happens if you put them in the mouth? Oh, they roll down. See? You can reset. You can reset. Right? Can you reset or not? Yeah, I think you can. Oh, how can you get this one out? It's alright, we'll do that later. So you have a try. You have a try, you have a try. Have a try. Hold that down and... Why doesn't this one go up again? Maybe because this game's Hmm. Into the moving mouse? Oh. Oh, we need batteries. That's why it's not moving. Alright, let's see if we can fix this. Okay, we have hoisted the batteries from the remote control for the television and toy train. So we have enough batteries now to make this game work. What you have to do under desperate circumstances. Okay, two screwdrivers and two knives. The scissors are what have done it. Let me get this screw undone. This game better be worth it, let me tell you guys. I'm looking in the camera. Very nice. Is it filming the right thing? It's filming the right thing. Right. Okay. Okay, what? Why is there batteries in here? It says batteries not included. I'm so confused right now. Don't tell me we just had to put the on button on. Oh my goodness. This is a classic case of how many minutes does it take to scroll on a light bulb? How many minutes does it take to set up Hungry Hippos and actually turn it on? Where's the on button? There is the on button. Where's the on? Oh my gosh, it's right here. Is it going to work? Oh my gosh, it was on. Okay. Good news. All right, finally, we have lift off. All right, let's give it a go. So, have to try to get it into the hippo's mouth and, oh. Oh. I don't want to reset, I don't want to reset. And. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely not resetting. Oh, I can't this is hard. This should keep all of us occupied for five minutes. <laughs> oh, God. 
gosh. This guy has figured out the guaranteed way of winning, which is just placing it in the mouth rather than having some fun for it. Good strategy. Very good strategy. Oh, all right. I'm getting good at this. Here they are. Just some simple sandals, little straw bag moment, and I'm just finishing up my espresso martini. And who knew that I was really good at making them? <laughs> All right, we're off. Okay guys, newsflash, I think I've actually found the perfect beer glass and I need to know how to get my hands on this premium malt suntory because look at the shape, the length, everything. It's, it's the perfect beer glass. I need this in my life. Today's setup for the foreseeable afternoon and I am jumping right into here after I go for my jog. Had a bit of a late one, late start this morning but um, yes, can't wait to get in here. It's not quite beach weather today, it's a little bit windy but nice and sunny for a little backyard sheltered little pool moment. And some rocks of course. And I have just broken out my new, well, old swimsuit from Peony that I just haven't worn yet. So now is the time where I just take the tag off. I always leave the tags on my clothes after I get them and just leave them sitting in the wardrobe until I actually use them. Uh, so here she is, a very elegant one piece with this really interesting um, detail on the side, very classic. I love a classic 1950s vintage pinup swimsuit. 
and also loving the florals. Now, oh my gosh, I am hot and sweaty, sweaty after that jog. I found the best way for me to jog not to ruin my knees is to do intervals, which is jog for a bit, then walk for a bit, jog and then walk. And uh, that seems to work for me. Anyway, I am going to jump into that pool and then jog myself. And uh, also while I was running, a mysterious something dropped on my head. Turns out it was bird poop. I've just tried to get it out, but it's, it's lost in the bush somewhere, guys. This is day seven of me not washing my hair, by the way. So it's looking good, but honestly, it feels like so dry and ratty. And I think we're planning to go to the beach tomorrow. So I think the non-hair wash um, is gonna continue for eight days straight, which is my longest ever, I think. It's like I'm camping. Anyway, I'm going to pop on a bit more sunscreen and I will show you the sunscreen I'm using. Um, and some very old sunnies, the ones that I don't mind getting wrecked. And I think I'm also going to throw on a little visor situation. I prefer visors to caps because they just don't suit my little pea head. So I'm going to pop this on and uh, hop in the tub. <laughs> yes. discovery we found on holidays are these very very mini tomatoes and these tiny tiny little pears just to give you a bit of a comparison sorry I'm one handing here because of the baby these are, are how tiny the tomatoes are aren't they gorgeous and this is a little pear look how gorgeous that is together like that could be a little still life painting couldn't it <laughs> yeah that's right Hey, good morning guys and uh, I'm wearing my sunnies even though it's not exactly that bright this morning but I uh, need to cover up the sins you know <laughs> had an absolutely shocking sleep last night the children are waking up I reckon every hour anyway nothing new here let's stop faffing but I thought I would let you know that today is the first day that we are actually heading off to the beach and I am so excited after probably two years of not actually getting into the water so I'm very excited to do that today hopefully fingers crossed <laughs> and uh, it just so happens that the good weather is on a weekend which is always the way and uh, therefore you encounter all the crowds that come with it but hopefully uh, we get off nice and early today and we can make it before all the crowds come and then we have our second date night tonight and I've just realized I have a pimple under my chin what I've never had a pimple under my chin before anyway this morning we are enjoying, that's right folks, we bought our waffle maker on holidays. <laughs> yep, there are just some things in life that we can't travel without and one of them clearly is the waffle maker. Anyway, I will take you along for the rest of our day. Uh, so lots of eating and beaching. I just feel like this entire holiday video is a montage of what I'm eating, but hey, I'm enjoying it. It's a holiday in itself, right? <laughs> okay, I'll see you in a bit.
Okay guys, so as you can see, I've gone very makeup free and au naturel tonight. I managed to wash my hair on day eight. Thank the Lord, I feel, my scalp feels so much better. Honestly, I was even having trouble sleeping because of how dirty my scalp was feeling. But hair is now washed, it is au naturel as well. I've just chucked some hairspray in. I don't even know if I'm gonna pop on some lipsticks, but I have, uh, done a little bit of effort with my outfit. I'm wearing a cropped bardo top that I got ages ago. I will link the brand down below if I can find it still. Um, but I love the bardo tops that have a detached sleeve. So, so flattering. And I've paired this uh, with a um, pair of French Connection shorts actually, linen shorts in the floral uh, pattern and I'm just keeping it very low key. I've got some nice little jewellery on, a bit of pearls on the neck and just keeping it very simple for tonight. So off we go for round two of day night. Ooh, and I am taking along this little guy as well, just to jazz it up slightly considering my face is very unjazzed right now. is on in the kitchen and it is very loud and everyone's asleep and there is no spare room in the house for me to vlog quietly although there is a bit of an echo in this bathroom also something unexpected that came out of this day and night was we did have a casualty guys and the casualty came in the form of my bardo top so this beloved linen bardo top which the, which has the semi-detached sleeves well one of the sleeves decided to uh, permanently detach itself when I was bending down to take off my sandals. So I was very, very upset about that, I must say. But apart from that, we had a nice night. And ironically, this holiday house also comes with, let me show you. A sewing kit, complete with elastic bands, uh, needles and threads, uh, nail clippers, um, what is it, needles, everything. I mean, how thoughtful is that? It's like a hotel. Very, very thoughtful hosts. I mean, I was considering stabbing a hole through a toothpick for a makeshift needle, but this will do the job much, much better and much, much more efficiently. But anyway, I thought it would basically round up this video. It's going to be a bit of a short video for this holiday vlog. Um, but we're pretty much going to be doing basically the same thing. We might head off to the beach again, uh, as long as the weather keeps up. And I think we're going to have a lot of rainy days too, so I have to figure out some rainy day activities to keep up with everybody. But um, I hope you enjoyed the holiday vlogs, and uh, I'm just going to enjoy the rest of the time just chilling, chilling with the fam. Um, and if anyone was wondering, yes we did go back to the same restaurant because we just love the food so much uh, it's japanese and uh, absolutely fabulous so you load up on lots of protein and sashimi although the sashimi did come out the size of a you know little doggy chow treat it's very tiny for 25 dollars which is a lot for little eight doggy treats but anyway it was very nice sashimi <laughs> Also nice to go out au naturel, actually. Um, you know, not bother about it. I was a bit more subconscious, I guess, because I do like to, you know, dress up when I go out. But it is the beach vibe, and I guess, my, you know, I have had three children with my husband, so you think you'd know what I look like by now, you'd hope. <laughs> 
Yuma. I was using Yuma, guys. All right. Uh, anything I featured in these vlogs will be linked in the description box and if I am not signing off the vlogs now I will continue because sometimes I do change my mind so if I'm not continuing on with the vlogs I will catch you tomorrow and if I'm ending good night I will see you in my regular vlogging content uh, when we get back otherwise until then take care guys